thing. That's why we're spending time cooking your dumbass because you yeah. are literally the majority of the people that bitch about the fucking paywall, you fucking dickheads. All you guys do is cry, 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 and I'm not surprised that you're FBA because you dumbass niggas want reparations. <laughs> all you guys want is fucking handouts. That's yep. all you guys fucking want. All right. Bring my little girls there. All right. Who, uh, who is it? This person said he's a hater. All right, hater. Let's go. What's up? Welcome to the show, hater. 8472, you are up. I feel Eight. like Mano, hi, hater. Hey, what? Yo, shout to Mano, man. Not, not of people know that, Myron. Yeah, Mano's a guy, though. That. Yeah, Mano's a guy. That's an old ass song, man. I'm showing my age. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Hater, hey, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Should bring Mano on. Uh, my name is Chris. All right, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Arizona. All right, what's your gripe with Fresh and Fit or complaint? So, I don't really have like a. I don't. Actually, I do have a complaint, but my thing is, I've been watching you guys for like since the beginning, bro. And um, I, I really like you guys. I really like what you guys got going and everything. But the thing is, with the Castle Club, bro, like, I'm a marketing guy. I've been doing marketing for, like, four years now, and I know a marketing scheme when I see one. And it's cool that everybody else pays for it, but the people who don't pay for it, you say we're brokies. And it's like, bro, I've been watching you guys for three years, and you guys gave us the content without putting a paywall in front of it. But then you guys put a paywall in front of it and say that, Oh, it's because you guys got to keep the lights on. But Myron had a whole temper tantrum when he said he made six million fucking dollars and he doesn't even need this shit. So I'm confused of why we have to pay thirty five dollars to see the damn show. Myron doesn't even talk on the damn after hour show now until they go to Castle Club. So I really just feel like I'm being fucked over here, bro. And I've been watching and supporting you guys for the longest period of time, bro, since you guys started. Okay, number one, I never said that I made six million dollars. I said I control six million dollars worth of real estate. That's what I said. That's number one. Number two, when I mentioned that, oh, it's, it's quoted. No, I never said I made six million dollars. I said I control six million dollars worth of real estate. Completely you said I different. have six million dollars. I don't need to do this shit. No, you literally I said, said that. no. I watch everything and listen to everything you, you say. Myron. No, you clearly don't because you miss you misquoted what I said. I never All said right, I made six million dollars. I said I control six million dollars worth of real estate. Your shit doesn't stink. All right, I'm hearing it. I'm listening. Bro, are you gonna shut up when I answer your question? You said you asked your question, correct? No, are you gonna bro, shut you, up while you I answer it? Automatically go to fucking. Not taking responsibility for what the fuck you said. No, 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 because I'm correcting you because you made an incorrect statement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, you made an incorrect statement, so I'm correcting you. I'm saying that you don't need us and don't need to do the show. You definitely said that. Bro. Okay. Look, look, look. look. Let me just address this fucking guy. It's fucking clip. Be quiet. Be quiet so I can answer this, all right? So this is what I'm going to say. All right, I'm listening, bro. You're Okay. Did you get everything else so I can actually address this? No, that's not the only thing I got to say. I got something else to say, too, about the, the foundational black thing. Cause okay, you think that's a whole other topic. So let's address Dan, the first bro. thing first. Okay, the FBA shit. Now it's all starting to make sense. Yeah. yeah. Okay, number one. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's fine. <laughs> Bill's laughing already. All right, so let's address the first thing. The whole, I mean, you can go ahead and laugh. Bro, yeah, bro let fine, me just finish bro. what I'm saying, bro. Just to, stop being emotional for two go seconds. Ahead, go ahead, I'm listening. All I'm right. listening, bro. We'll go to the black thing And next. please don't interrupt, Okay. Number one, never said I made $6 million. I said I control $6 million worth of real estate. And when I said I don't need this shit, what I mean by that is I can self-sustain and take care of myself if I didn't do the podcast. However, if I'm going to do the podcast, then we're running a business. To run a business, you need income. Therefore, it is not a business. Completely different. Me sustaining myself versus running a podcast are two different things, my friends. They're not the same. Number two, you mentioned that you work in marketing, etc. Let me ask you a fucking question. Let's say you had to go to your marketing job every single day and you weren't paid for it. Would you still go to that marketing job? No, I, no I, run, I run my own marketing shit, Okay, bro. all right, fantastic. Let's say you ran your own marketing shit and you weren't paid for a year doing that marketing shit. Would you still do it? I mean, it depends, bro. Exactly. So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look, look, look. The point I'm trying to get Sometimes at here. You hold on, yo, look, 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 look. You said you would never ask for fucking be money, quiet. Be quiet for two seconds. Be quiet. be quiet, be quiet, be quiet. Be quiet, man. I'm answering the fucking... Like, I'm, the I'm fuck, going bro? into the situation here. Again, you wouldn't work for free, but you expect us to work for free. Matter of fact, we gave you guys free content for almost fucking four years, and then like I said Dude, before... You're rich! Yo! <laughs> what? Nigga, are you okay, okay rich? hold on, hold on. Not, bro, okay, not, okay, bro, you're I'm rich. rich okay, let me ask you a question. So Elon Musk is rich. <laughs> Does that mean that he's not going to try to make money on Twitter and monetize it? <laughs> Burger King is rich. McDonald's is rich. Do they give you free you burgers? Hold on, no, no, no. Because here's the problem. No, no, no. Because you sound crazy right now. Yo, 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 yo. Mute, mute this nigga, bro. Because this nigga's stupid. Bro, <laughs> let me get this straight. Let, let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. No, because you're stupid. You're fucking dumb. Oh, you're rich, bro. So don't charge us. So does that mean that Burger King, you could just walk in there and be like, look, y'all niggas rich. Give me a burger. Can you go into fucking McDonald's? Y'all want some fries? Y'all rich. Give me some fries. Right? Hey, Bank of America, 
Y'all got a bunch of money and you're printing money anyway. Give me some money. Like, how do you sound, bro? Like any business, this is the United States of fucking America, okay? It's a capitalistic country. It means you're for profit. If we're going to run a podcast and do it at the level that we do and have employees, etc., we have to be profitable, okay? You run a marketing agency. You're an entrepreneur. I guarantee fucking tea. You would not run that marketing agency for free like we did for many years. And then we come along and we say, look, we're still going to give you 80 to 90% of the content for absolutely free, but you're complaining about fucking after hours. Here's the other thing, too, that I find interesting. The content that actually helps you make money that is the most beneficial is absolutely fucking free. Yep. But you're over here bitching about fucking after hours, which doesn't help you make money. So let me ask you something. Do you actually fuck with us? Do you actually support us? If you're sitting here complaining and crying about us charging you for a small portion of our content that's paywalled and all the other fucking value that we give on Castle Club, you're really going to sit here and bitch at me about 35 fucking dollars when the reality is for us to run this business and pay our fucking employees and continue to do this shit the way that we're doing at the high fucking level that we're at, where everyone is fucking copying us, so obviously we're doing something right, and we've been doing this shit for free for so fucking long, you're really going to sit here and tell me, oh, bro, nigga, you're rich. Just keep giving it to us for free when you got fucking demonetized on YouTube because your ass wouldn't work for free, so why the fuck should I? You got demonetized because of you, bro. That wasn't our fault. Yeah, and you're now absolutely we have to right. Pay for it, you're we absolutely right. Yeah, yeah, hold on, hold on. You said you like, you've been watching the content supporting us, right? Yeah, I've been watching Why do you like us? Why do you like bro? us? Tell me why, why do you watch us and why do you like us? Tell me why. Bro, I mean, I've been listening to you from the beginning, bro. You were definitely empowering men and shit like okay. that. But I don't like the fact that you don't think that you can do anything wrong, bro. Okay, like, let me ask you this. And everybody gives you hold all on, this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on one sec. Hold on one sec, bro. Hold on one like sec. Hold on one sec. Would it be fair to say that you watch us because we keep it real and we'll tell you what the fuck it really is? So most of the time you don't miss, Myron. I give you that, bro. Okay. I'm, I'm talking okay, to you guess what? Okay, guess what? Okay, hold on. Stop, 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 stop. You just literally admitted. You just literally admitted. I don't miss and I'm truthful and I say what the fuck it is. Do you understand that? Telling the truth in 2024 in a politically nigga, correct... I shut the fuck up when I'm bro, talking, you fucking, fucking retard. Stop it, stop it. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. I'm answering your stupid ass questions. Nigga, okay? Shut up. Okay? Here's the reality. Okay? Because you work a fucking marketing job and you don't understand this shit because you're marketing, nigga. You're not the one that's actually in front of the microphone taking the fucking risk we do. So let me tell you what the fuck it is. In the United States of America, in 2024, if you want to tell the truth about anything, whether it's COVID, the fucking Jews, fucking making money, being successful, etc., women, all this shit, guess what? It comes at a fucking cost. Okay? And that cost a lot of times is being deplatformed, being demonetized, getting your fucking platform taken down, whatever the fuck it may be. So the reality is this. We told you, motherfucker, since 20 2020 when we came on the scene enjoy us while you can we won't always be here we fucking knew what was going to happen if we continue to tell the truth and we decided to not fucking sell out and keep fucking going and telling you all the truth whether it's talking about the realities of jewish prior united fucking states or telling you guys about the fucking bullshit going on with the deep state or telling you guys about female nature or whatever we're the realest fucking podcast on fucking youtube Okay? And telling the truth comes at a fucking cost, you fucking pussy. So look, the very reason that you supported us is why we're here today and why we're doing what we do. We haven't switched up and we've said what the fuck we want to say and kept it real. That comes at a fucking cost. Okay? The very reason you like us is the very reason we got fucking demonetized and deplatformed on many things. So if you want the truth and you want us to tell you what the fuck it really is, that comes at a cost. Okay? And it's not just us. I just named a bunch of creators that have similar viewpoints to us. And guess what? They're all either demonetized, banned, or kicked off all the fucking mainstream platforms. Telling the truth comes at a cost in 2024, motherfucker. And if you don't understand this as a marketing guy, then you need to fucking find a different profession because I don't know what to fucking tell you. <laughs> all right? We're not over here dancing and being retards like Kai Sinat or Aiden Ross or any of these other motherfuckers. We're telling y'all what the fuck it really is and having real conversations about real fucking shit. Okay? Comes at a fucking cost, bro. It is what it is. They want to fucking demonetize me for telling y'all the truth? Then so fucking be it. So fucking be it. I'm not going to bite my tongue and lie about shit to stay, stay monetized. Uh. The very reason you support us in the first place is the very reason we got demonetized. So don't sit there and get fucking mad when we've been telling you that we're going to get demonetized. Enjoy us while you can, etc. We told you guys this from 20 fucking 20. From the Go very back and watch. If you've been watching us, you should know this shit. From the very beginning. And it's crazy. Candace Owens made locals after she got canceled from Daily Wire. People aren't saying, oh, what's she charging now? Well, guess what? Just to support her business because they stopped her money. Ta-da! Every creator that does this type of content. Money. It's a business.
these guys. Like, understandably, like, this is what it is. And if you don't like it, guess what you, what, what you could do? Go somewhere else. It's simple. But you know what's funny? People in marketing actually told us to put up the, the content that's actually making people money behind the paywall because it makes more sense. But what do we do? Put it there for free for you guys still, even though that makes more sense because if you're putting content that makes you money or can monetize uh, you know, your users, put it behind the paywall so they want to see it. Vice versa, we say, you know what? Fuck that. Give it, give it to them for free. And only a portion of actual content is on Castle Club. Like, dude, like you guys, you have no sense of like marketing at all. Like, come on, bro. Like, and and and, and we're actually shooting ourselves in the foot by giving like 90 percent of our shit out for free, bro. Like the fact that you're still fucking bitching after all the shit we've been through, and you claim that you've been watching us for years, like that tells me you don't really fuck with us. And also, we could charge way more. Yeah, I'll we could right charge now. way more because what we do for you guys in Castle Club, the meetups, all the, for example, behind the scenes stuff, and as well the Zoom calls, and as well, I can't say what's coming, but once I, that hits. Bro, that's nothing, bro. 35 bucks a month? Come on, dude. For the amount of risk that we take, I find it interesting that you literally admitted that you like us because we empower men and we tell the fucking truth. Well, guess what comes with the truth, my friend? Silence. Yeah. Because the powers that be don't want you guys to know what the fuck we really talk about. So you can either A, get the real shit like we give it, right, and support us because we've been fucking demonetized for telling you the truth and telling you guys what the fuck it is, or B, we can water down our shit Start dancing on camera, right? Talking about, woo, men and women are equal. Zionism isn't a bad thing. No, don't worry about it. You know, we could talk about fucking egalitarianism and how communism is awesome and all this other bullshit. But no, we don't want to fucking do that shit. We're going to keep it real. We are by far, by far, the most raw and real podcast that's still on fucking YouTube. And you know what? How I know he's like triggered about this because he's worried about after hours. Niggas complaining about after hours, bro. bro that, and here's the thing. That's why we're spending time cooking your dumbass because you yeah. are literally the majority of the people that bitch about the fucking paywall, you fucking dickheads. All you guys do is cry, 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 and I'm not surprised that you're FBA because you dumbass niggas want reparations. <laughs> all you guys want is fucking handouts. That's yep. all you guys fucking want. Yep. Whatever. We'll, we'll, and, we'll and let, this, crazy. let we, this nigga come back in and we, say what he got to say. We gave so much. For three years, bro. Nick, other Crazy. peers called us stupid because we should have did this from the very beginning. We said, you know what? Fuck that shit. We're going to give you guys as much as possible for as long as possible without taking anything. And look. And this dude thinks like we just sat there and said, hmm, 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 yeah, let's go ahead and just do a paywall because we feel like it. Yep. Motherfucker, <laughs> if you guys want the podcast to keep going, we had to do it. Yep. You think I really wanted to fucking do this shit? Seriously? You fucking dickhead. We did this shit because we had to do it. Otherwise, lights are off, nigga. No more Fresh and Fit podcast. I'd be straight. I told you. I would be straight myself. But if you guys want Fresh and Fit, you guys want the fucking podcast, guess what? We got to operate as a fucking business, make it profitable. And we got staff, too. Holy shit. I can't believe that we even have to explain this shit to this fucking dumbass. Nigga, you're rich. Why are you doing the po Why are you charging us? <laughs> We're for free. That's funny, bro. You know what? Let's go to Chipotle. I'm going to say, yo, y'all niggas rich, man. Free Give me a burrito. Bro. Just give Please. me a burrito. Give me a chicken bowl, double meat. Y'all niggas rich. Come on, man. Fuck Are you fucking apple. serious? Okay, let's see what you got to say now. Go ahead. Holy fucking shit. Are you done with your temper tantrum, Iron? Like, what the fuck, bro? You just got re rebucked on I think uh, it's kind of funny, bro. I, I, I said I was a fucking supporter, and then that's how I'm treated, bro, because I have a different Because you're not a real bro. supporter. You call me all these fucking names. You're not a real shit, supporter. Bro. That shit is crazy, bro. Yeah, you're such a man, bro, and you can call people a bunch of names because they don't fucking agree with you. That's crazy. You're okay? not a real supporter. Since, since you already, you know, you already went up on that shit, bro, and you're just going to grill me and fucking mute me and shit. So let's go to the next thing. Okay? My, my dad. No, my actually, we got to do after hours. No, let's talk about it. The same no, show that you complained about, we're, we're we got to do right now, bro. actually. And, and you had your, you my, had your one response. So I think that's it. Chris. Time, right? No. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Let this dumbass... No, we're not... What the fuck do you got to say, bro? Just make it quick. The we don't got time for you all day. rhetoric, bro. Same FBA rhetoric. What are I you complaining about? This time. What happened? Yeah. You hung up? <laughs> Thank God. Anyhow, um... Chris, is it time? Well, yeah, See, yeah, and yeah. yo, and, and look, guys, we I, I had to fucking have that discussion with this guy because that's a, a criticism we get so much, and it amazes me how people sit there and conflate me being able to self-sustain versus, oh, well, then you should you said you don't, you don't need to do the podcast or whatever. Like, what the fuck? If we're going to do a podcast, it needs to be profitable so I can fucking pay my employees and keep the show running. 
Sustaining myself is a completely different other thing. I mean, and the fact that they try to conflate the two is incredible to me. That's low IQ. Buying real estate for your own portfolio is separate from the podcast. I mean, like, bro, I, I don't get it, bro. And fuck incredible. And then, like I said before, I just find it incredible how the majority of our content, especially the content that helps you make fucking money, is absolutely fucking free. And these guys sit here and still complain to me and say, bro, like, what the fuck? You, you're, like, putting after us by the paywall. Like, uh, uh, uh. It's like, bro, like, if you fuck with us, you fuck with us for real. You want to complain about this shit. Especially when we've taken the crazy amount of risks that we've taken to come on this podcast and talk about the shit that we've done. Bro, yeah. I don't, I can't think of another pod on YouTube that talks about the shit that we do. No, I can't think of one that's still on. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Um, Either way, though, bro, a real supporter understands what's going on. So, Nigga literally said, oh, well, you got demonetized. That's your fault. Okay, well, why do you like us? Oh, because you're raw. Okay, so you, you like us for the very reason we got banned, you stupid fuck. And we have marketing and we actual warned you. people in Castle Club that say, yo, you guys could do X, Y, Z to make more money. We're like, oh, we're, nah, we're cool. We say no. <laughs> like, we literally like, say no. Like, bro, you, you have no sense of marketing at all then. At all. When we so talk with fine. our people. They tell us all the time, you should be putting more shit behind the paywall and we refuse. Yeah. So, bro, we are literally doing the bare minimum when it comes to trying to, like, do a paywall and all that shit, trying to give you guys as much free stuff as possible. The fact that we ever talk to you ungrateful, non-paying Castle Club members on fucking phone calls is in itself goes to show that we are willing to fucking give free value to almost everybody. You ungrateful free. fucking pussy motherfucker. And the fact that you're an FBA proves what I've been <laughs> saying about you motherfuckers all the time. You ungrateful, reparation-seeking, stupid fucks. You idiots, you fucking morons. Always look for fucking handouts and blame all your fucking problems on other people crying about white supremacy. Get the fuck out of here. You're broke and you can't pay for Castle Club, not because white people hold you back, because you hold yourself back. Stop fucking blaming other people for being a broke, you piece of shit. That's the end of the show, man.